that we are getting. Now, CNN News 18 has exclusively accessed the Enforcement Directorate charge sheet in the SSC scam case. In fact, the charge sheet says that Arpita has disclosed about uh, who the owner of the raided money was. Remember, the ED on Monday had filed this charge sheet against former Minister Partha Chatterjee and his close associate Arpita Mukherjee before the PMLA court. Now, we have accessed what does it entail. My colleague Ashish Mehrishi joins me on the broadcast. Yes, Ashish, what does it say? So, the charge sheet, uh, you know, we already know that uh, there are total eight accused, including Partha as well as uh, Arpita. Apart from that, there are five companies, private limited companies, and one there is a partnership firm that has been named as an accused in the in the charge sheet. But more importantly, the charge sheet says that Arpita Mukherjee has made a true disclosure. But first, she had, uh, you know, uh, you know, she was fearing for her life and life of her mother. But ultimately, she decided to disclose that the money actually was from the SSC scam, and uh, the real owner of that money was none other than Partha Chatterjee. So certainly okay. a big embarrassment for the Trinamool Congress. Reason being that Partha Chatterjee, who's basically who was spearheading this entire scam, he basically uh, is the owner of around 50 crore rupees of cash and around 5 crore rupees of gold that was found during searches of the enforcement directorate. So Ashish, where does it leave, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Chatterjee's position in this case now that it has been revealed by his closest associate? So if you remember, you know, when there was a virtual hearing happening in the court, uh, Partha Chatterjee basically broke down mm. and he virtually said that you know, he, he, he's not the owner of that money. There is mm. a conspiracy. But then, uh, you know, the statement of Arpita Mukherjee and a true statement has certainly brought down embarrassment for the Trinamool Congress. So what should be the next step now from here on? Now that uh, the charge sheet has been filed, of course, we do know about the contents of the charge sheet, clearly incriminating evidence against Partha Chatterjee. So what happens next? So next, uh, basically, it's where, you know, the court procedure starts. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the ultimately, the... The court decides the first, they have taken the cognizance. Obviously, there will be summons by the court uh, to produce uh, all the accused before the court. And then the court decides for the course of action. Uh, then what now happens next, it's absolutely in the ball. The ball is in the court of the, uh, in, you know, it's, it, it's the court which decides what the, the course further. And Ashish, how soon can the court proceedings now start in this particular case? Any day, because the court has already taken cognizance of the charge sheet. They hmm. know it's a big, big scam. Uh, it's a scam which has basically brought Trinamool Congress, uh, you know, on the back foot, uh, you know, when it comes to politics in West Bengal. So certainly, uh, you know, the, let's see how things move in the court. But the statement of Arpita Mukherjee has certainly brought a dent to the Trinamool Congress. Right. Ashish, uh, for the benefit of the viewers, uh, we were definitely mentioning about how Partha Chatterjee has been, uh, you know, evading all sorts of questions, feigning ignorance, also saying that he has nothing to do with the money that has come to light. Of course, the weights of cash that were there on visual. So that evidence has been pretty much there. Now that his closest associate has said that it was Partha Chatterjee who was the owner of all the money that was raided. Uh, of course, that leaves uh, nothing uh, there for Partha Chatterjee. It just uh, take us through the background of this entire case how this has progressed and now what is left with Mr. Partha Chatterjee? So Partha Chatterjee is no longer the minister. The Trinamool Congress decided to show him the gate after the cash was found. But ultimately, you know, the scam was basically on how illegal recruitment happened through school service commission in West Bengal, whether it was primary teachers, whether it was senior secondary teachers, whether it was group C or group D staff. And this scam was basically spearheaded by none other than the minister himself. Now, we all know that Partha Chatterjee has said that, no, this money uh, is, you know, it's a conspiracy. The money doesn't belong to him. But this statement of Arpita, Chatterjee, Arpita Mukherjee has certainly brought, uh, you know, a big, big dent to the Trinamool Congress because it names Partha Chatterjee. And in the statement before the court, she has admitted that, yes, this, this money basically belongs to Partha Chatterjee. Right. Ashish, thank you so much for joining us. With all those details, an important development now that we know what the ED charge sheet really entails when it comes to the SSC scam. And Arpita Mukherjee has really gone on record, claimed that it was Partha Chatterjee who is the owner of all the money that has been raided in this particular scam.